Hey guys, Lee Taft here. Welcome to Speed Test from My Garage in the Classroom. Today is number 111, and I want to do a developmentally sound sequence for helping youngsters learn how to go through the expression of jumping. Okay, that's that's all we're really going to work at. They're going to gain some strength here, neurological, all right, motor motor learning, and then they're going to learn a sequence of how to express power and jump. All right, and this is something. You have to have your athletes for a while. It's not something you're gonna do in two weeks, right? You just, over time, you develop them and teach them how to do this. First one, teach them how to deadlift. I have a 15 pound training bar with 25 pound plates. It's extremely light, okay? It's not heavy, their book bags are heavier than this. If 25 is too heavy, go to 15, take the plates off, okay? You just gotta raise the bar up a little bit. So here's the sequence. Simply teach them a nice deadlift. Form, okay, nice flat back, neutral, okay. Stand to the knees, finish by coming up and through. Back, down, hinge back, down, okay, real simple. So again, here, head up, knees, through, back, down to the knees, squat. Okay, pretty basic. Now, once you've done that, get them up, start them here, have them just simply unlock their knees. All right, so let me kind of get where you can see. I just unlock my knees and then lower the bar about mid thigh, a little bit more. Bring it back up and jump. Push. Lower. Bring it back up the thigh and jump. Lower. So now they're learning to express power with a little bit of weight. So that weight of force is improving because I'm adding a little bit of weight to it, okay? The next one, now we're gonna use the upper body, so we're gonna take a medicine ball. Now, if I was outside, I could actually release this, but what you would do, put it here, chest, go down into that squat, jump, and release the ball as hard as you can. So they're learning that, then take that off, and then work on stationary jumps, okay? Here, push. And now they're learning to be able to absorb release that energy really quick. So really simple sequence, four exercises. They'll be able to learn these really well. But what it does is it helps you organize so that you can have a nice system to teach them the beginning of lifting, which I think all kids should learn. And then how to be able to handle, manage weight, stay tight, and then use their body to express that force. Okay, hey, we'll see you tomorrow for number 112. Thanks guys, have an awesome day.